My name is Lance Lucero, and I'm the product manager for Astronomy, and we're bringing to you today the AstroMaster Accessory Kit. This accessory kit contains everything that you need that is essential for basic observing and some astro imaging. The kit includes this plastic case with foam lining, which now holds a microfiber cleaning cloth, a 15 millimeter eyepiece, a six millimeter plossal eyepiece, a 2X Barlow with a built-in T adapter, and three eyepiece filters, a red, a blue, and a moon filter. The numbers on the eyepiece represent the focal length of the eyepiece itself. To calculate what magnification that's gonna give you in your scope, you simply take the focal length in millimeters of the telescope that you have and divide it by the number that you see on the eyepiece. So if you had a telescope that had a 1000 millimeter focal length, the 15 millimeter eyepiece would give you 66 power. The six millimeter eyepiece would then give you 166 power. To use the eyepieces, simply take the eyepiece and insert the chrome barrel into the eyepiece holder on your telescope. Make sure to lock down the set screw on the eyepiece holder so that the eyepiece doesn't accidentally fall out. This piece here can be used both photographically and visually. And basically what it does is it will take the magnification of whatever eyepiece you put into it and it will double it. What you do is you take the eyepiece out of your eyepiece holder of your scope and insert the chrome barrel of the Barlow lens inside the scope, secure the set screw again to, to make sure that it doesn't fall out, then take your eyepiece and insert your eyepiece into the back of the Barlow, again securing it using the set screw. The great thing about this particular Barlow is that you can unthread the optical lens at the front You can set this aside back in your case so that it doesn't get lost. Now, with just the empty tube, you insert this piece in place of the eyepiece in your scope. And now you can attach a camera using these threads here. You will need a T-ring adapter. This is an adapter that can be purchased at any camera store, but must be bought for the specific make and model of DSLR camera that you intend to use. This T-adapter, or T-ring, will then thread directly onto the T-adapter body. Then you would take your camera, remove the lens, line up your little white mark to the camera itself, lock it in place. Now you have the ability to insert your camera, your DSLR, into the focuser of your telescope. Again, lock the set screws to make sure that it stays secure. And now you're able to actually photograph through the camera itself. If you have live view on your camera, you could then simply turn on the live view and then focus the scope accordingly, just as you would a standard eyepiece. And this will allow you to photograph through the telescope itself. Now, some telescopes such as Newtonian reflectors may not have enough inward focus travel to allow this adapter to reach focus with your specific camera. So what you do then is you go back and you take your Barlow lens and you thread the lens assembly back on to the T adapter body. Reinsert this into the eyepiece holder of the telescope and you should be able to reach focus with just about any scope on the market. This kit also comes with three eyepiece filters. You have a blue, a red, and a standard moon filter. And basically, these will go on the inside of your eyepiece. You take your eyepiece, and you'll notice that there's threads on the inside of the chrome barrel. You simply take your filter, and you thread it on as such. Then simply insert the eyepiece into the eyepiece holder of the telescope, and resume focusing and look, go ahead and look through the eyepiece. 
What these filters do is they help increase contrast on whatever target it is that you happen to be looking at. The blue filter is good for planets such as Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars. On Jupiter and Saturn, uh, it will increase the contrast, allowing some of the belts, uh, the reddish belts in particular, uh, to stand out a little bit more uh, so that they're easier to see within the eyepiece. For the planet Mars, uh, this is also a really good filter for bringing out the polar ice caps. The red filter is also good for Jupiter and Saturn, in particular bringing out the bluish tinge uh, that is found in most of the cloud bands, uh, especially on the borders where the red cloud bands and the white cloud bands meet. In addition to that, on Mars, this also helps bring out some uh, surface details, uh, which are otherwise overlooked. Uh, it could be anything from sandstorms, darker features on the surface. Uh, this filter here will make it easier to see. Uh, this filter also works good on the polar ice caps. The moon filter is used on the moon, particularly when looking at a moon that is above first quarter but still not quite full. It can be exceedingly bright to look at and somewhat uncomfortable to view. But this moon filter effectively works like a pair of sunglasses. Uh, you put it on and it helps darken the image, thereby making the contrast of the surface features stand out far better and also makes it far more comfortable for you to view. The microfiber cleaning cloth can be used to clean your optics, whether it be the objective lens of the telescope or your eyepieces themselves. To use it, you basically use very, very light pressure. Don't press really hard and don't rub in little circles. What you want to do is start from the center and work your way straight to the edge. Then turn your optics and repeat again until you get 360 degree coverage. You basically want to try doing this just like spokes on a wheel from the center straight to the outside edge, then turn and repeat until it's completely done.